you have two topics. The first topic is that I want to give you a short introduction into the new project I created to get started with the topic of key cloak. And then I want to show you how to set up the simple example on your local PC with a small walkthrough. Okay, let's get started with the introduction of that uh, project. The project is on GitHub and I created also a Git box so that you easily can read it. Um, the objective is really to get started with all of that. There's a lot of documentation out there and my major objective is that I want to get all of these and get started with the secure microservice application told you with a login, secure a specific REST endpoint invocation of that microservice with a role, and then test the access to the microservice with a JUnit test. So basic stuff to get into all of that. Um, I use for the microservice the Autors microservice from the Cloud Native Startup Project. The advantage with that is that we have already different implementations of the auto service, which is a very, very simple service so that you can verify the changes between the different implementations. And uh, I use for sure micro profile to do all these stuff with Java Web Token, J Ajax RS and JSONB for the configuration. Yeah, um, a little bit about the architecture. Uh, you know already that the major technologies I, I use and um, here you see the architecture of the implementation here on a local PC. This is an open liberty. We run the open liberty in a development mode. Maybe you know this uh, from one of the last blog posts I did also to set up a JUnit test so that I reuse this uh, functionality here. and. Um, the auto service is running on the Open Liberty server in the development mode and it saves the public key which is needed for the Java back token uh, to decode it uh, when we get the information from Keycloak. So here is a Keycloak. We will run Keycloak on a local container image. We will reuse the existing RAM configuration I defined for the Cloud Native Starter with a client information, user group and um, role. We will create a, a user for the, all of that stuff. So, and the major walkthrough is that we will test it like we have the test here. We will get the token from Keycloak. We will request this so that we get the Bira token from Keycloak. Then we use that token and invoke our REST endpoint of the Autos microservice with that token. Um, the microservice itself verifies the token. Is the token really valid with the given key we have here inside? And then we verify the user role to invoke the REST endpoint. Yeah, and when we get all the information from the response, so we will compare that re result with the expected value we have. So that's all. And now I will show you very briefly how to set up all of that. If you want to dig it more in all this topic, the GitHub project is there. You can examine it and have fun with that. Okay, so let's start with the setup overview. Start Keycloak on a local Docker container. Open the Keycloak web console and enter the administration console with user admin and the password admin. Now we're going to add the existing RAM configuration on a local file system. We're going to press add RAM and we import it the file you find inside the downloaded or cloud GitHub project. Now we inspect the configuration for the cloud native starter RAM. We have a client here, as you can see, and here is a more detailed client configuration. Here you can see the client protocol is open ID connect. Let's move on to the roles. Here we can see the role we use later. That role is assigned to a group we already have defined. 
Compact Outdoors Cloud Native Starter Group. Here you can see the role mapping. The configuration does not contain a user. So we define our own user. And then we specify the password with the credentials. And we have to ensure that the temporary password is set to off and we remove the update password from the properties here required user accounts actions. Then we add the user to the group we want to use later for access our microservice. We need a signing key for our Java web token. We copy the public key and save it into our application on the Open Liberty server. The location for that is in the meta in for our web application. Here we have a file called Keycloak Cloud Native Starter Permanent Key. And then we open up a new terminal. Here we will start the Open Liberty server in the development mode. First we clean our project and now we're going to start the Open Liberty server in the development mode. And if the application server is started, we just can enter return to start the test, which are already implemented in the project. And as you can see, everything was successful. And, and we also can open up a test report automatically created by Maven. As usual, all needed information is below in the description. Check it out and bye.